only the motion of the woman. I'll get that. So we've got a motion and a second. And all in favor? All three? Just your public hearing. Which one? What? Um, motion to approve the minutes of your public hearing. I'll do that. The broad band hearing. That was what we hadn't done. Okay, so, all right. All right, so we got the special meeting. We got the meeting, but we didn't get the broad band vote on that. We need a motion to accept the minutes on the broadband meeting. The regular meeting? No, it was the first meeting that we had. The one with the Fox was here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the public meeting. That no, was the public meeting. It wasn't a special meeting. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion for that. Okay. And I'll go with that. Okay. So, can I? All vote? All odds? Aye. Three? Three. The minutes are behind. All right, we got um, qualifying results for the election. Our, um, we've had two people, let me get pictures, let me show us. So we've had two we had two, we had two seats open for one year term. And the two one year term seats Qualifying candidates for the two for the for the one-year seats were Joseph and Carl, um, and they were so they were unopposed. So these candidates will be um, we've taken seat tonight as council. Maggie, they will not take a seat until the election. Um, we're going to put in place them tonight. Because we we're too close to the election to do anything different. We've already got four lines. Get your charter out and read it. Uh, That's totally know, against the charter. Know what the charter says in this. We know what the, I know what the charter says. But I know in the past, when it's been this close to the election, you've not filled the seat. Never. And it's the, Never. And we ain't filling those seats without an election anyway. Yeah. Well, I, I, move, I make a motion that we go ahead and fill the vacant council seats before we do anything else. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fill these seats with the qualifying candidates through the election process. There was nobody, nobody had uh, uh, protested their their qualifications and voted and went into the list. I they make a motion. They are the two qualifying seats for the spot. The, the two I seats that are open now, and they're going to be going into the seat. Negative. Tonight. I make a motion that we appoint Mr. Stewart Stewart to fill one of the vacant seats. We're not calling for a motion at this time. We are going to. We, we are you ain't got to call for a motion. There's a motion on the floor. And I'll second it. And a second. Well, I don't. <coughs> and we will seek the seats with the qualifying candidates through the election process. No, 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 no. We will not do that. Some of us were cheated out of qualifying. No, you weren't. You signed an affidavit yourself oh, saying no. you wanted to reach what's wrong. For a reason, and she knows what that reason well, was. Whatever it was. She cheated was me choice. out of it by lying to me. No one lied to you. Yes, she did. Anyway, mm -hmm. that um, the seats will be set tonight. Joseph and Carl, will y'all come up here? No. No, no. Don't even do it. Please come on up here. Ma'am, if you allow that, you're so wrong. Yeah. Ma'am, hold, hold on, hold on. If you allow that, you're wrong. I gotcha. Hold on. Please. So, let's have a discussion briefly about how we got here and what the problem is. Yeah. And, then, and then hopefully we can sort this out. So, your charter provides that you are to see three in an odd year and two in an even year. I don't think it's an odd year or even year. It's an alternate year. It no, does say odd year odd even year. Year. But, but I'll be glad to point it out to you. But the bottom line is three in an odd year, two in an even year. Last year you seated four because there was a vacancy. Because the charter does not speak to what happens in the event of a vacancy as far as the election and getting off, off that schedule. So last year you seated four. 
Then there was disagreement over who would serve the one-year term. And there was a meeting in July where there was discussion about Mr. Meeks being assigned the one-year term. He disagreed. The suggestion of your counsel was to seek an attorney general opinion. And then the following month, there was an attempt to do so. There was at least telephone attempts to seek the opinion of the attorney general. And then after that, there was uh, basically a decision or discussion by the mayor to appoint Mr. Meeks to that one-year term. I'm just giving you the factual background of what happened. You can disagree with it, but I'm just giving you the factual background. So after that, and, and I'm not saying that was, that was the rule, but this is what happened. She assigned him to the one-year term. When this year's qualifying came up, again, it's an even year. There generally would be two C's, but instead there were four. And the premise behind that was there were two vacancies. Mr. Mr. Meeks, based on the one-year term that he was assigned, was up for election this year. And then when the mayor resigned, there was an additional vacancy. Uh, and I'm sorry, I said two vacancies. Your seat was up as well, Mr. Chavarino. Um, so there were four vacancies this year. When it was initially advertised, and again, this is my understanding, I'm not saying it's the gospel, but this is my understanding, there were three vacancies that had not yet received the mayor's resignation. So there were three vacancies that were advertised. Um, when the mayor's resignation was received, it changed to four. In an effort to straighten out the, the on your even year conundrum, it was expressly advertised that two of those seats would be for a one-year term in order to get back on the odd year schedule and two of those seats would be for a two-year term that's how those individuals signed up and that's how they qualified and so the problem is and, and i've discussed this with some of you the charter is is old and badly needs a rewrite um, so is the bible you know? <laughs> But the bottom line is, it needs a rewrite. There's no provision for what happens when you get out of whack. And so there have been multiple attempts to try to bring that back into, into focus. So that Because keep in mind, you talk about following your charter. Your charter says, shall elect in an odd year, shall elect in an even year. Three, you know, two and three, even and odd. And so that's what was attempted to be done, and the method for that was to have those individuals qualify for those specific terms and know what they were facing going into that. So based on that, you've qualified two individuals for one-year terms, unopposed, because there were two one-year seats, and then there are several individuals who are qualified to run for the two-year terms. And so that's kind of how you got here, and now obviously you're trying to rectify that and straighten that out, I think there's a couple options for how you go about that, but again, you talk about, you know, kind of following what you've put out there and the process that you've put out there. The qualifying was done so that those individuals knew what seats they were getting and to backtrack now, in my opinion, I mean, you talk about facing a legal challenge, those individuals qualified for those seats. No one else did, and to put someone else in over those that qualified, I think, is problematic. You can't put these people in before the election. They just begin with. You they're, can't. Your charter says shall be appointed by the council at the next meeting. And we are going to appoint them. But not by them. They don't go in until after the election. Again, that's what I'm saying. But they're unopposed. Yeah, 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 they're they're not running for they're election. They're not running for election. They're already appointed a seat. The that seats is, are open, and they're not running. qualifying people for the seats. Yeah, I don't know. So it's so whenever. It specifically yeah. says the people that get the highest number of votes shall be elected to the seat. And doesn't say what to do when you're filling vacancies. Or, and I take it back, it does say that. It says that they shall be appointed by the remaining members of the council at the but next not, meeting. Not the people that's qualified to run in the election. They don't do nothing they, until the election. We put, we fill the, the seats with people that we want to. The rule of the election <laughs> office rules allow us to do that. Look, I didn't wait for the election. Since with this, I'm fixing to leave this meeting, and there ain't going to be no meeting because this this is wrong. It is wrong. That's your call. Take a check back. 
When I arrived, I went straight in. There was nobody running against me, and I went straight in. I went straight in. That's where you made my mistake. Hold on. Let's get the closing down a little bit, okay? It was done in the punishment. Okay. 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 You know what's wrong? It's not wrong. Absolutely. The election rules allow you to do it. She had, the next mayor had no... She took his seat as a punishment. Absolutely not. You can say that truth. You have now qualified and gone, I mean, you've gone, you as the town have gone through the qualifying procedure. And this is what was done. And now you're telling people that qualified, unopposed, that they're not entitled to their seat. They were, That's the problem. Who, who after election? The town council is the one that has qualified. Okay. Your, your clerk mm -hmm. is the qualifier. No. Russell, Don, no. When I run, when no. I run, I was a person and I went straight in. Remember, when I run, I went straight in. I did not wait for no election. Available for the election. Walk down here, please. Are we going to uh, you didn't have a vote or anything? Are we going to do this like we're supposed to? Yeah. You're trying to do we're, we're doing it like we're supposed to. This is what this is within the rules and the guidelines of the election. You know. This you should have appointed one of your cronies for the on your seat and it would have forced the election. Hey, 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 hey. Please. Yes, oh, I tried to qualify. I just lied to. If I have to do this again, I'm asking you. Yeah. If I have to get okay. asked to cut the audience to quiet down again, those people would be asked to leave. So let's keep this thing in order. That's your call. No, this is not right. We are you moving forward. This is, your, this is within the rules no. of the election. Why did you do it last week? No, that's right. No. I, 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 I didn't want to do that. There's, there's no way that they could have. Uh, it could be done, but not by not how it was done. Not yeah. the mayor can't yeah. say. We're so she, was, she was one of the three guys. Okay. So it's, it's her interest to put her off on somebody else. Hey, we was, need, it was not we the case. need an opinion not, from someone. There was, there was three people in that There was not him. Listen, you have to take a good. breath Let's, so we, we, can, we can deal with this. Okay? You're just carrying on, you're repeating yourself, you're going on and on. I, I the, repeat the, myself because it's part. This is, there was three people. There was three people. There was three people. Why are you leaving, Russell? Why are you leaving, Russell? You're going to play? 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 You lied to me. You lied to me. Yes, you did. I didn't have to have any income on those papers. Yes. Shut up real quick. That was funny. Just sit here and watch this. Just sit here and watch this. This gets crazy. Have a seat or leave the room. Have a seat or leave the room. Because this was not a stab. Have a seat or leave the room. Have a seat or leave the room. No. Okay. All right. Get the sergeant of arms over here. Thank you. Know. This is so you yeah. said you're leaving. So, so they don't so understand. If you're staying, my seat knows it. They if, just have their own. If you're staying, have a seat. Please. You guys have been wrong for. Please. If you're staying, have a seat. Uh, no. Okay, then that's on the agenda. I, I have to tell you at this point, you do not have a plan. Any, any action you take beyond now is subject to then challenge. I thank everybody for coming tonight um, due to the fact that we don't have a plan yet. We will be the council, um, have two council members to transact this. So, the meeting is adjourned. Can I ask a question? Who's your cold inspector? Pardon me? Who's your cold inspector? Code inspector. Um, we're working on reading. Uh, yeah. Is that your public comment? Why is that? Uh, okay.
Yeah. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you getting permits for the Coles Chapter? You can ask him to get the outcome. You can't talk about it. Coles? When I was in, I was on the boat. I was on the boat. I was on the boat. I was on the Attended something like this before? This Are you going to quit? No, I mean, I, I want to help you guys through it and get back on track. That's the goal. That's the main thing. If they would listen to what I had to say, I mean, they've got some options available. How about they listen to their residents? That's who they work for. Supposed to. So. Yes, ma'am. We'll be safe getting home. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, man. I'm not perfect by no means. Oh, I, know. I, I want you and your so Thank you. Both sides of it. I wish we could get along, but maybe one day. One day. Maybe. And I, you, know, you never know. You never know, man. But thank you both for watching. Show me how to get that tire. Yeah, no problem. You, have you called me? Okay, I was making sure. I don't think I missed your call. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Tomorrow, I get, uh, tomorrow I was going to get that trash and stuff out of the, uh, the thing because Mr. Zim said he would be around the trash. And the, I got to get, I'm going to take that whole shed out. So the whole shed, the trash, and the pipes is in the back. So we'll get that taken care of. Okay. You got Okay. All right. No problem. We'll get it figured out. Thank you, Mr. Richard. Oh, there he is. Congrats on your uh, journey. Thank you. No problem. Excuse me, Mr. Zim. No problem. Feels good. Yes. I know we don't see eye, eye to eye on stuff, but congrats little, on your journey, man. got a little warm in there. Hopefully you'll come around to the good side. Sir? Hopefully you'll come around to the good side. You've been doing good for a while, man. I know, hey. I'm human, man. But like you said, hopefully I'll... Thank you. 
I don't mind shaking on it. I don't mind. You good, man. You good. He watching. Me. I know. Jim, I mean, see, I called you Jim. But you know me, man. You know, you know I'm a good person at heart. You're a good guy. Just do Thank it for you. The right reason, Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, we like we don't see eye to eye on things, but thank you for shaking my hand, Brian. I didn't ever think that would ever happen again. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I apologize. Hopefully, accept my apology. Thank you. Leaving out. Yes, sir. Appreciate you what you do, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ruby County's finest. Uh, does he is he in the way? The four wheeler. What? Are they in the way? If they are, <laughs> and she hits them. It's... Was there a fight out here or something? I was in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we came out at the same time. Yeah, I wasn't too far after, but. I thought I seen the cop, but, they were, but it was that way. Uh, Russell said it was, and then I looked, but I couldn't tell. I didn't see it on the side. I, I didn't see it. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I think this is the craziest meeting uh, I've been to. No, um, she, they, they, uh, she, they left. The, the family left. I have no clue. So, um, what the hell is going on? CPO, and she was in the meeting. George is waiting for the first one. She didn't get to go for the meeting. No, no, right. I know. I told him. I said, you're not taking her to because I heard Russell tell you. I heard Russell tell you that they were going to appoint John Cook. They said there's a possibility. There isn't one. That's the, it's, well, that's it's not even look, I don't, I'm not getting into Otter Creek Town Hall. But that's what I'm not. saying. So they will be, if that's found to be a lot. I have no idea. I'm not saying I'm not Okay. Do you have your dog's license? So I don't know what allegations they're having if she's an employee or whatever she is, but um, in their injunction paperwork, okay. it's a, that's I'm just see why it's documenting everything. Okay. okay, already have their information, already have all the information on this capacity. So she doesn't get arrested because... Because she lied. Because she lied. Yeah, because John was blocking my hand. They called the sheriff's office and I saw the video. At 4.45 and nobody was here. Okay. Okay. And I heard, like I said, I was reading their injunction paperwork. And as we talked before, that our state system, our federal system, they look up for injunctions. I can see the injunctions. Yeah, they are. It doesn't list anything about they must be go or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can see the injunctions. It doesn't list anything about they must go at that at this time when you show up. I don't shoot my other deputy that showed up. He had, the, I guess you guys gave him the copy, the physical copy, and I looked it up in there. And after I read the paperwork, that's why I told them. I said, you guys have to leave. They said they're leaving anyways. So obviously there's a breakdown of communication. Again, this is the state attorney's office needs to clarify with us because I can only do so much. As we, I know this is sort of going in circles because I've done this discussion before. I've done this discussion with them before. Did you guys just get here? Sorry? Did you guys just get here? Yeah.
I know they're familiar. Can you with turn your light off? And I know no, ma'am. You're blinding me. Yes, ma'am. So. We like. Tom, did you mind turning it off? No, sir. I'm on private property, brother. Uh, it's, so you're blinding other people. From Don't look this way. Huh? Don't look at it. I'm looking at the whole thing from this side. You turned it on when you got over there. Yeah, I couldn't see. Okay, that's fine. You can have your light on, but you can move a little bit too. I moved. That's still facing this way. I'm just going to my view. You shine the bright light directly okay, at people's come over faces. On this side. That's a totally separate rule from. Okay, okay, so okay stop. stop. Thank stop. you. Thank you, man. I'm okay. pissed off about the light. I understand. You have a right to film wherever you want to, right? Yes, sir. If you could do me a favor, personally, yes, sir. if you could maybe move, I'll even. Uh, I'll, I'll no, I, 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 I did but move, I, and he still know. wasn't happy. Okay, because that is that is a bright light. I'll admit that. I, I couldn't see, so I'm trying to see. She's over there. Oh, well, I talked with the state attorney's office yesterday, and they said I could be here. And you're saying you talked with the state attorney's office, and they said they couldn't be here. Right. So it's they have a my my permanent protection order is first. I'm not on her temporary injunction. And that's the temporary problem. Temporary injunction the, that she has. Yes, we don't have one on here. And I know I did see that. It's just unfair. Um, no, and I obviously so there's the disconnect. Um, the fur by uh, Chief Chief Beacon uh, going down is to make sure to verify with her if she has you know, any kind of reason to be here. You know, and yes, it is a public meeting place, but however, you have the right to have an injunction. Um, it needs to be, again, I don't know. I know you guys have sent many things to Ohio to send back. But you know how I said on my system what I can see? It still doesn't show the specifics of it. She um, said her attorney told her to be here. The detective that I spoke to said that it's in the Detective Center. Detective Bowers? Yes. Because I told him every time we make a complaint against them violating the civil protection order, no one can seem to find it. Okay. He said I was able to find it just fine in the communication center, whatever that verb is. Levy County Sheriff's here. Are they going to do all this again and we have to wait for the state's attorney yeah, or are they going to... Like so you have to wait every single time. Yeah. See you later. That's why, that's why that's I said crazy. coming here like we talked before. It's such a Would it be different if it wasn't from Ohio? Would it be different yeah. if it was... Initially, now I think it's been domesticated to Levy County, correct? So now it's been domesticated. But the issue before, when it first, when they all first brought the injunction, it was we have never dealt with, you know, basically. Because there are like some... Uh, some injunctions like domestic violence and stuff like that from other states and jurisdictions they can be segregated, but it doesn't have to be domesticated. We still you know, hold it. Because this is like a lot of us, even, I mean, it's definitely, you know, that's just honestly, we're not worried. We're just, you know, try to come up with it. And then we tried to talk earlier, we had to do our conversation about the state attorney's office. It wasn't very clear, it was very. Oh, we recommend this, but you know, what you want. Trying to do the job the best I can. Absolutely. You guys are doing a great job. So, I have a question. Upset with you. I know that you have, that you can't arrest. You have to go to the That's really annoying. But can you make her light if she's in a place? For just a little while? Yes. Yeah, that's why I asked for us. Can you, can you, you can still hear us. us. They were leaving anyway, so it's not works from the light directly so. in our eyes. So. I guess that would yeah. be enough. Yeah. Okay. I just want to thank you again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma oh, it's fine. It's fine. 
Y'all bless my Be safe Take tonight. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You. Yes, sir. How you doing, Miss Mott? 